Hi, this is the Michael Myers fanatic. I'm here to discuss the so-called Halloween recalibration. I did a video about it yesterday and I want to thank all of you for tuning in because without you guys it wouldn't be where it is. Anyway, I want to tell you what I think about this so-called recalibration. I know what the word means, you know, you're adjusting something. That's what they're saying. We're we're just going to adjust it. Okay. So it sounds like something you would do to a car. Oh, I'm recalibrating the car or the engine or whatever. So in my opinion, I think they're gonna remake it. I'm sorry to tell you, that's what it's gonna be. That's their sneaky way of saying they're gonna remake it. Think about what they said. They said it's not a remake, not a reboot, and it won't follow Rob Zombie's Halloween one or two. Okay, well it's definitely not Halloween nine. So you can give that up right now if that's what you're thinking. They're not going to go back to Halloween 9, so what's the alternative? They're going to remake it. And this time, instead of Michael having a sister, he might have a brother. Instead of Lori, it might be Larry. You never know. That's what I think is going to happen. Instead of Lori Strode, it's going to be Larry Strode. That's what's going on here. They're probably going to give Michael a whole new life. And as crazy as they are, as crazy as Malik is and Bob and Harvey Weinstein, his name might not even be Michael in this movie. Might be Mitch. Mitch Myers. You just never know. Because they're crazy. That's what I think about the recalibration. I think it's going to be a disaster. When you mess with a formula, you destroy the product. A fictional character, Doug Heffernan, said it best when he said, Don't mess with the formula. It was either Pepsi or Coca-Cola, one of them. He said, It used to taste so good until they started messing with it. Now it doesn't anymore. By messing with Halloween, they're messing with the formula. Now they're gonna change a lot of things. I bet you that's what's coming. With this so-called recalibration. I don't see it working. This is just their sneaky way of doing a remake. Shout out to Eric Virthaler92. I'll put his channel in the description box. Go subscribe to him. And shout out to the Myers Chronicles. But anyway, I'm telling you what it's going to be. This is just their way of remaking it. Eric Virthaler said it best. They're just going to remake it. That's what it's going to be. Just think about that one more time. They're saying it's not going to be a remake. Nor reboot. And it's not going to follow Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. Even if it's not a remake, it's still a remake. Do you know how I know? Because you're using the same character and using the same name of the same movie you're still calling it Halloween so what is that you're remaking the movie that's what a remake is even if the events are different it's still technically a remake the remake just doesn't follow the other remake that's the only difference like I said instead of Lori it might be Larry instead of Linda her name might be Lonnie but I think that's what's going to happen. I'm not buying into this recalibration crap. Because that's all it is. Crap. So, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. It's either going to be Halloween 9, which I highly doubt. Or it's going to be another remake. Those are the only two options you're getting here. And I don't care if every single event in the movie is different. It is still technically a remake, unless it's a straight sequel to the other franchise, or the other continuity I should say, because it's all the same franchise. Unless they come out and tell you this is a sequel to the other continuity, then by definition it is a remake. And let us define remake, shall we? Remake. A new version of something something that has been made again or differently 
especially a new version of an old movie. So you see, it doesn't have to be exactly the same to be a remake. Listen to the definition. A new version of something. Something that has been made again or differently. Differently, do you hear that? It can be different and still be a remake. So he can have a brother named Larry instead of having a sister named Lori, but it's still a remake. And I think that's what Malik has planned. Malik, Bob, and Harvey Weinstein. They are planning to just remake it again because they want to clean up the mess that they made. That's all. They're not fooling me. And they're not fooling Eric Verthaler 92. We know what's up. It's a remake all over again. They're just going to attach this fancy word to it for new fans, unsuspecting fans that don't know any better. Oh, recalibration. Yes. That's my impression of a new unsuspecting fan. Oh, look, a recalibration. It's a new movie. Maybe it's Halloween 9. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's a remake. They're remaking it. I can't wait to see what it's going to be. Personally, I think they just are going to sneak a new remake up on us. That's what they're going to do. They're just going to sneak it in there. Hey, let's call it a recalibration. But it's really a remake, right? Yes, yes, that's what it is. That's my impression of Malik and the Weinsteins. Yes, it's, it's actually a remake. We're just going to call it a recalibration. Get them to watch it. If I find out that it's a remake, I'm not going to go and see it. I'm just going to wait for the Blu-ray or DVD. So I'm telling you guys that now. So if you want to start with that whole you're not a real fan thing because you didn't go see it at the movie theater, whatever. Jamie Lee Curtis must not be a real fan either. She didn't even want to show up at the convention. Now what do you think about that? She said she doesn't even like horror movies. I, you judge people by her standards, and she doesn't even like these movies. So she's not a real fan either, and neither is John Carpenter. So what does that tell you? Oh my goodness, Myers fan. You don't know what you're talking about, because you're not a real fan like us. We've been fans for years, and we have all the masks, and all the movies, and all the ticket stubs, and we've even got Jamie Lee Curtis's saliva. It's right here, because we're real fans, and you're not. That was my impersonation of a real fan, by the way. This recalibration thing, it's a bunch of crap to me. I don't fall for crap, but that's what I smell. Another remake. You guys let me know what you think. You know, because you're real fans and I'm not, obviously. I've only been watching Halloween since 1994, but I'm not a real fan, you know. Anyway, I approve this message. And I don't believe in the whole recalibration thing. Bye. I really enjoyed making you guys laugh today or tonight, whatever time zone you happen to be in. And I know that usually when I say I approve this message... That's normally the end of the video, but that's not the case right now. I told jokes on the video, made you guys laugh, made jokes about the fans being so obsessed with Jamie Lee Curtis that they probably go on eBay and collect her saliva. All those were jokes, but I want to say this before I go. I'm hoping that this so-called recalibration has nothing to do with Scout Taylor Compton. I'm hoping that it's totally different, that it's something else, something fresh. Even if it goes back to the original series, I consider that to be fresh. Scout has been with the franchise since December of 2006. But she didn't make her on-screen debut until July or August of 2007. It was August, excuse me. 
August 31st, 2007. That's my bad. I forgot the date. Sue me. But August 31st, 2007 to 2010, I believe, is when she called it quits. They wanted to make Halloween 3D, but it just didn't work out. So maybe that's a sign. I want you guys to think about this. I'm being serious right now. Maybe that's a sign. Because if you keep trying to do something and it doesn't work, take it as a sign. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe it's time for Desiree. That's her real name. Hi, Desiree. How are you? Scout. Whatever you want me to call you. Maybe it's time for Desiree to give somebody else a chance to play Lori. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to use a couple hashtags. Use the hashtag RealFan, hashtag Jamie Lee Curtis Saliva, and most importantly, use the hashtag Give Somebody Else a Chance, because that's what I want her to do. She had her time. Her time is over. Scout Taylor Compton's time in Halloween is over. She was with them for three years. She got more in three years than most people get in a lifetime. So with that said, she needs to just be grateful for that and move on. Go to something else and let somebody else have a chance to run away from Michael Myers. You had your chance. Give it to somebody else. Don't be a glory hog. Whether you like it or not, I approve this message.